interrupt our program to bring you this important message. So this is a special ed edition of Derna time. There's not a lot of Derna involved this time. But as you can see, we're in a, in a hotel here. And uh, since we had food so early, we figured we we're going to cook some now. So I brought the panini grill like you always do when you go to a hotel. Before I recommend anybody doing this, I would like to say smoke alarms, always make sure that they're not gonna go off. Um, well, we hope they won't go off anyway. They won't. It's uh, currently 11.45, <laughs> and um, I don't think anyone will be best pleased about being woken up. Hence our hushed tones, of course. But we're gonna start out with some potatoes. I've already Oiled them up and season them from from home. They're just in here. So we're just gonna now. How long do you reckon these will take to cook, Fred? Uh, I'll say about six to eight minutes. I would say. Oh, okay. You can hear they sizzling a little bit, aren't they? Yep. Starts early now. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Lovely sound there. As you can see, there's no nothing, no uh, smoke yet. Mm. So, so what's next then? So next we have here in the little bag, then we're gonna go with the potatoes. Oh, not the potatoes, we already have. We're gonna go with some veggies, grill them on there, mm. and then in the end I have some uh, pre pre seasoned uh, chicken in a fillet. Mm, lovely, lovely yeah. stuff. And so we're, why we're doing this tonight is because um, well we want to you know make sure the chicken stays fresh, don't we? Yeah. Don't want it to go off. I think. Also, we were supposed to be here like I don't know a long time before we actually were. So. Uh, yes, and um, that chair is not gonna burn, is it? No. It's not gonna mark the bottom. Yeah, yeah it's just a plastic button. Okay. And cool. always you want to do it by the window, of course. I mean, I don't think that takes a genius to figure out. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. So um, the potatoes are gonna cook for about eight minutes now. Yeah. So let, let us get back to we'll you. We'll get back to you when they're uh, when they're ready, nice and nice and crispy. So the potatoes have been. Uh, taken off as you can see. So next we are going to apply the vegetables. There we go, what vegetables have we got? We got some broccoli, we got some uh, bell peppers, we got some bell peppers that are meant to be like, uh, for the grill, and we got a little bit of zucchini too. Lovely. So we have a little bit of all the good stuff. Definitely a healthy meal, which yeah. is also important. We won't make clean uh, room service do it. No, of course not. And I think I think that's a nice little. Don't that look nice? Oh, it looks very, very delicious. Okay. Turn it up here again. So join us once these vegetables are nice and crispy. Okay, so we've uh I think the vegetables are now done, are they, Fred? I think so. Let's Shall take we? a look. Ooh, that's so nice. There's even one sticking on there on top. Ah, oh, yes. So we now have the uh, audacious task of removing the vegetables from the uh, from the grill. And unfortunately, young master Fred here didn't bring a. Uh, yes, I did forget in uh, two important categories. I forgot to bring. A spatula, and I forgot to bring a fork. So um, I got stressed out. It leaves me using these chubby sausages called fingers to um, pry them off the grill. So oh, um, don't. It's always good to work for your food. Yes, of course. It's midnight. Yeah. Yes. But um, okay. Well, join us for the next I'm segment. Sure you, you of all people have heard of a midnight snack. Oh, no. You play all that. Wow. <laughs> Okay, 
maybe join us next time. You know, Fred might end up out the window. Um, but yeah, yeah, we'll see. See what happens. Okay, so finally, we have the chicken. Mm -hmm. and now tell me, Fred, what, what have you marinated this in? Uh, let's just make a little bit of a little bit of oil, a little bit of oil, a little bit of chili, a little bit of paprika, okay. a little bit of salt, pepper, of course, of course, and then a little bit of apple um, vinegar. Apple vinegar, very fancy. Mm -hmm. Yes, as you can tell, Frederick has his summertime hat on. So, like back but apple vinegar, he's very for the, very ready for the summertime. Yes, and um, this would be a good dish to be doing, obviously outdoors, maybe on someone's it's patio. A, it's a very quick dish too. Very actually. quick dish. Yes. Maybe. How long have we spent now on this? About fifteen minutes, I must say. Maybe a bit more. Maybe about twenty. But I think yeah. we spend a bit too, bit bit longer because we're having to pry it off with our fingers. Yeah. If we, if you have the proper tools, this should take you. Oh. No more than yeah. 20 minutes to do. Obviously. And the chicken is the quickest part of it. How long, how long do you reckon the chicken will, will take? Two to three minutes. Two to three minutes. Ah, oh, very good. Well, um, are you going to put all that on there? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, fill the rack up. It's not going to be good tomorrow, so... No, no, you might as well use it all now. Yeah, yeah. it looks very good. It's very very orangey. We can ask some of our teammates if they're hungry. Yes. Yes, I'm sure they are. I'm sure they're always hungry. Free food, nothing free food. Never say no to free food. Um, so yeah, so we we're gonna we we're gonna put this on. Um, only two to three minutes. Oh. Well, why don't you uh, put that put that uh, grill down, and we will we will have a bit of a conversation um, in terms of what's coming up next week. And obviously, donor time next week. Um, we will be going back to our regular formatting, I think. We should. We should be, yes. This is a on the road special, of course. Mm -hmm. um, there, the chicken goes down. Um, I have to wash my fingers. Oh, yes, Fred's a very responsible cook. I, I'll just uh, point it at the grill. Or I can point it at the mirror. Or well, not the mirror, but the window, so you can see me. Hey, look, there's me. Um, yeah, I'm very tired. Um, but yeah, so next week we should be going back to our regular formatting where we uh, hit up one of the finest about places in Berlin and Potsdam. Um, I'd like to say thank you very much to those who've been sending recommendations in. Always very appreciative. Um, I think we've had a couple of recommendations from a couple of people, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And also um, a big shout out to to um, super fan Toby Letman, who uh, visited Superhans in Berlin. Um, both, I think, today and yesterday. Yeah. Two I days. Two yeah. days in a row. Um, Gave us gave gave a very positive review, um, and yeah, if you if you end up going to any of the places we recommended, please drop me or uh, myself or Fred a message. Tell us what your experience was like. Mm -hmm. Might get you know the feature on the channel, um, and maybe even some merch if we ever get around to making some. Well, we're going to show you the final. We're going to show them the final product, aren't we? When the team is done too. Sorry. Oh, we're showing them the final product too when we get the chicken over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't talking oh, about that. Sorry. My bad. You misheard me, Fred. You need to clean your ears out. I um, should get this morning. Oh, oh, lovely. I'm sure that's what everyone wanted to hear. <laughs> Make sure you're not eating whilst you're watching this. Um, but yeah, so... Anyway, why don't you uh, join us once this chicken's finished? Won't take too long. And um, yeah, we'll uh, finish, the, finish the night off. So what up party people, apparently, I gotta get a review for this shit made by the professional guys from the Döner Time, or is it Lewis Thomas channel, aka Döner Time, I don't know. So apparently they brought a grill to a hotel and grilled some potatoes, some chicken, and yeah, vegetables. And now... I gotta review this shit, so I'm gonna try my best to be as objective as possible. So as you can see, it's just scrimped together, sauce all over it, just just how I like it. Uh, if there is no sauce, did you even do it right? So let's try the first bite of the potatoes. Oh. 
I mean, yeah. Guess so. Not, not crispy. Should I give it a rating? I don't know. Try another one. Yeah, I mean, it's all right. I'm hungry, so I'll eat it. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I mean, you can eat it. I mean, you did. they did it in a hotel room, so who am I to complain? Let's try one of those fancy-ass chickens. Hmm. I really like the chicken. It's meat. You know what they say about eating meat. After the sauce comes out, it's just perfect. So, I can just feel the sauce in my mouth. And that makes it a little bit better. But, I mean... I guess it's still pretty decent, so I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. It just gets it, it gets a better rating because I like meat and with the extra sauce. Who am I to complain, right? So at least the grill. The last thing I'm gonna taste are those grilled vegetables. Yeah, eating them with my hand. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Fucking broccoli. Mmm. Mmm, and zucchini. It's all that healthy shit. So, I guess it's aight. It's vegetables. If you like it, it's, I guess it's good because it's grilled, but I hate vegetables, so I eat it just because I know they're healthy. So, overall rating, because it is made in a fucking hotel be uh, bedroom with a fucking grill brought into this hotel for creativity for simplicity I might even give it a 7 out of 10 because I'm impressed but overall I mean would I recommend it? sure if you need, some need something quick get some Fried potatoes, fried chicken, and fried vegetables from the masters of fucking dinner time. So, it's a 7 out of 10 rating, but would this be my favorite meal? No. So, the uh, food is finally ready. So, we already made it. We already made a plate for one of our teammates. Yes, see it. Satisfied customer, I must say, to uh, Fred and Lois's hotel. Um, what do we call it? Grill? I don't know. <laughs> um, he would have. I would. I would have included his. Uh, he promised to do a little video for us, just to you know, as a little thank you, just to uh, say what how he how he felt about it. You know, yeah. he's reviewing us this week. That's yeah. what we're gonna say. It is. Yeah. So that would have that would have played before this. Um, if my editing skills are any good. So, Frederick, please, please, please guide us through what, what you have prepared tonight. Yeah, so obviously there's not that many veggies and many potatoes left. We could make more if we wanted to. We could, to. yes. So sort of fair. If I hop over to the uh, window here. Yeah. Yeah, we still have to do for a second fair. portion. Yeah. But, you know, we're not very hungry tonight. Yeah. And, and you see, as a, you know, a growing lad, so we did, we did end up sacrificing half of it to him. Yeah. Um, he seemed like a hungry man. He's a hungry, growing lad, as they say. So, <laughs> so we've got the so, vegetables. Yeah. So basically, do you want me to make a plate here in front of oh, you? Oh yeah, got, yeah, yeah, please do. Okay, I guess so. I'll be splitting this in half. Not a lot of veggies, unfortunately. Should have made more veggies, but I'm not really complaining that much. To be honest. <laughs> Let's see here. Well, I can make both our plates at the same time. Here. Our hands are very clean, by the way. We yes. have washed them multiple times. I think we need to split. So, then we have the chicken here, of course, which is cooked. See, yeah, we, cooked, we yeah. cut one out. White's in the middle. Yeah. There's definitely no salmonella coming from this. No. Which is a good thing. I don't know if you guys can see, but oh well, you probably can't. I'm going to eat this bit. Yeah, and then we have the sauce I brought from home. Hold that up to the camera. This is yours. Bernays sauce. It's meant to be cold, so that's perfect for this. Where do you get it from? 
Uh, it's from Denmark. My mom Ooh. sent it to me. We've so gone international, everyone. Just a little bit of, mm. you know, so it looks fancy. Fancy. Mm-hmm. Mm. If it tastes fancy and it looks fancy, who's mm. to say it's not? How would you know if if you were just to eat this and it tastes great? You wouldn't fucking know it was made on the chair in a no. hotel room at midnight. At midnight. I'm just interested to hear a few thoughts, like... And as I said, I, I messed up and I forgot to bring a fork for us, so that's on me. We have to eat like animals. The combination of the chicken and the sauce is lovely. Mm -hmm. Also, you've got those spices in the chicken. Mm -hmm. the, the, the Bernays sauce gives it a very, like, muff well, it's not mustard, is it, but very, like... I don't know what the word is to describe it. What's it made out of? It's like mustard and... No, I think it's, uh, I think it's egg whites and some... Mm. Uh, it gives it like a quite, like a, a, a it's like a stark, yeah. um, con, you know, different, it's a different It's a different good taste. contrast. So it's a very nice combination of the two. Um, so it's very lovely. My one critique maybe, the chicken's a little bit dry. Yeah, it was because, because uh, you, it's not an excuse by me, but uh, well, it is in a way. But uh, you seemed a little bit worried about it not being cooked w properly, so I was uh, then I was like, hmm, maybe I should just give it a min minute extra. I am very, very um, particular about my chicken. I'd like it to be, you know, I'd rather it be cooked than yeah. undercooked. Yes. Um, I'll try a bit of the potato now. Mm. Did you sell those at home? Yes. Mm, they're very nice, perfectly salted. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could have crisped them a bit more. Yes, that uh, that could have been done too. They it depends on what kind of potato you want. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, it could have been crisped up a little bit extra. I think due to the circumstances of where we are, we didn't really, I personally got a bit pernickety about the smoke. Obviously, the smoke alarm's covered. He, he did not believe in my device. Look at this. Nothing is going to get in there. Um, but yeah, but I, I think they're quite nice, very well salted. Um, and then finally the vegetables. So we got a bit of, was this broccoli here? Yeah, um, that's a bit of, a bit of broccoli. Mm. Do you have a little zucchini piece of your on those? Yes. Mm. I do really enjoy vegetables that have been cooked sort of on the grill. It's very nice. It, it, it made, it's just a bit of a you know different taste to it. Mm -hmm. I could compare it to almost a barbecue type mm -hmm. um, situation here, you know, where they've been char grilled a bit. Obviously, there's not really a char grill; it's more of a grill. You know? yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's very nice. I'll try a bit of um, pepper here as well. Mm. Yeah, I feel it really brings out that flavour. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, apart, I mean, apart from the chicken being maybe a little bit too dry, yeah. I think that's perfect. I think the chicken, the combination of the spices that you, you, uh, you made, you know, you mixed at home, marinated before we came here. Which mm. the sauce is lovely, even if it is dry. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm happy to hear you like it. So, so um, so we're probably gonna finish our dinner now and then hit the hay. Big day tomorrow. Um, tomorrow morning, we have a little uh, addition to the episode. Bonus content. Bonus content, yeah. So, um, you know, when we work out how Patreon and stuff works, we'll obviously charge you for that because that's what everyone seems to do these days. Yeah. Um, no, we won't because no, it's we about... Because we're not, you know, money grabbers. We, uh, we're for the people. We're for the people. We, we do this shit for the people, you know. Um, so, yeah. so But there will be some bonus content. Um We'll see what happens. It might happen if we have time. It might not. Um, I think we'll have time though. Surely, yeah, if we're we up. should have time. If we're up, <laughs> if we're up. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyway, so um, anyway, till till tomorrow. Thank you very much. I've been Lewis. Right sleep there. tight. And uh, yeah. Good night from here. Good night.